I got some pixels in. They're from China. Hi. What? Welcome to Canna Spader Christmas. All right, so as you can notice that I did get some pixels in. Um, I will be taking a few extra precautions this time when opening them. Um, and uh, so give me a couple of minutes to uh, outfit my PPE and we can get started. Okay, so uh, just taking a little extra precaution. Uh, normally I don't do this, but you know, with, with the current times the way they are, I am going to uh, take a little extra precaution. So we'll just be real careful with opening this up. I'm gonna stand up. Okay. We'll let that sit a little bit. It's a little bit bigger box. Okay, I believe it's four minutes that we have to wait on that. So I'll wait for four minutes and then I can start extracting all of the bags of pixels out of there. And I also have some uh, pigtails in here and those have been thoroughly decontaminated. I may give them another spray just to be sure, but uh, I think we're okay for now. I'm gonna get out of here and I'll be back in about four minutes. Okay, we have extracted the bags from the shipping containers. And if you'll notice, I did have one that opened up. So um, I did spray in there with Lysol and this one also opened up and I have decontaminated that one as well. So. Those will probably be, uh, in another four minutes, uh, those will be the ones that I start testing and uh, then we can proceed on with the rest of the strings in an orderly fashion. So I got two different kinds. I got the bullet pixels, can you see that? I got the bullet pixels and then I got some flat pixels. And those are supposed to be the regulated kind. We'll, you know, we'll see what happens when I, uh, when I get them out of the bag and get them tested and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so I've just got a bar pattern going uh, across there right now, but I've got a string connected up to the F16. And uh, then it just goes all white, all red, all green, and all blue, and then another bar pattern. And basically what I'm looking for is just to make sure that all the pixels light up uh, and the, they are the correct color. And uh, pretty much that will be the extent of the test. Now I will look at these you know, a little bit more individually. Um, I will not make you watch me go through all this, but this is basically what I do to test my strings once I get them. Uh, if they're all working, then that's pretty much it. I don't do really kind of a burn in or anything like that. Now, one of the things I am going to have to talk to Ray about is that I asked for four wire pigtails on my 12 volt strings. All 
Well, fortunately, I'm probably going to be cutting these up anyway, so it really doesn't matter. But um, I do want to get some four wire pigtails because that's how I roll. So I've got the modular matrix panels from uh, Bascoyo. So I'm going to use them to create my wall washer. And so here is a matrix. Uh, and I think that has 168. And I'm going to do four strands per string and one string. Okay. And so we have this. Now, if we look at the wiring view on this, it starts on one end goes here, goes back, goes here, goes back, and at the same end is the output. So that isn't going to work because I'm going to need two of these. So I'm going to have this one and then I'm going to have another one over here. So right now the wiring starts here and ends here. So how do we deal with this? If we change this, wait a minute, change the right one. We change this to a vertical matrix um, and we do 42 strands per string. It looks the same, but now the wiring looks like this. So we start here and we end here. So we're starting here and we're ending here. So now I can put two of these together. Uh, I have to do power injection or something, but I can stick two of these together. And then what that allows me to do is just create one of these that is what we two, so a four and what is it, three? Three six. And so now it looks the same, but we can do it like that. So if we look at the wiring view, it's going to be much more jumbled, but 168 is going to be up here somewhere, about in the center. So that solves that problem. And then now I'm going to have one over here. Oops. But, um, I think that is going to be four and 168 and one. And I guess that needs to be vertical as well. And if we look at the wiring view now, okay, so that will work. So I want it going in at the bottom and coming out at the bottom. So we can do something like that. Make a copy. And so that's pretty much how it's going to be set up. center somewhere and I may bring that out a little more so that's how it's going to be set up so this one come in the bottom come out the bottom that's good and this one come in the bottom come out the bottom that's good and this one Start lower left and lower right. We'll start here, go up all the way, come back down, go back up, come back down. So we number one's here, number 168 is here. So when you turn it around, number one is here, 
number 168 is here. Okay, so uh, I have uh, 200 pixels. I haven't cut the end of this off yet. And, and you notice this one is, well, what happened? And it, something weird's going on here, but okay, it's lighting up. So this is pixel number 200. I'm running off of one port and no power injection. So how do you do that? 200 pixels would be 12 amps and that just doesn't work. Um, I've got the brightness set to 10%. Now I wouldn't run this prop in my display at 10%, but I can do it here in the laboratory uh, and just kind of demonstrate it. If I run it higher, then it kind of blows the camera out anyway. So usually when I show stuff on camera, I'm running them at 10% in here. Um, now, of course, in my display, I normally run everything about 30%. So that would be what, about four amps still. So that should still be okay. So let me see if I can bump up the brightness. Where is my thingy here? So we'll go to 30% and it'll either blow the fuse or it'll just work fine. Should just work fine, but. Okay, one second. Boom, there it is. And it's working better. So it's a little brighter, okay? So that's normally where I run, run the props. I got two patterns. I got just a bar going down and then a spiral going down. And so for this one, it's going to be the vertical one. So I went, first pixel is on that side. So it goes all the way up here, comes back down, goes back up, goes back down. So those are the two that will be vertical. And, uh, and so I'll just have to, you can't see it. I'll just have to cut the pixel off and if I want to put a pigtail on the end to do power injection I might do that. Um, I may just leave it as it is because it's working fine at 30% and uh, you know I don't have any plans to go higher on that. You know, we'll see. We'll see what happens when I get it out there. If I have to inject power I will. Okay so for the horizontal one um, I went ahead and did one string starting at this end and then I put the end of the string at that end. And then when they merge together, I just clipped the extra ones off uh, so that I had a good end on that end and a good pigtail <clears throat> on that end. It really doesn't matter how you do it. You know, it just, I figured that would be the easiest way to do it. So I can take two of these panels, stick them together and I'll have the whole wall washer at least that's the idea anyway now we'll probably have to power inject at least at the end of the second one um, so I am prepared to do that it is severe thunderstorm season here in Central Texas so I have been dodging a few thunderstorms trying to get this video out but I think we're gonna just cut it off right there now uh, I did measure uh, on the side of the house, the horizontal piece that I need. And that's about 25 feet. So I'm just gonna use two pieces for 20 feet. Um, and then the horizontal pieces will be, you know, equally spaced out there. So I think that will work okay. I don't know what the mounting situation is going to be like. We got a couple of ideas, but, um, uh, you know, kind of going for a, the, the easiest way to kind of roll all that stuff up and, and pack it up for the season and still have it look good when you put it up. And I, I, like I say, I got some ideas. So I'll work on that later because I have to get another modular matrix panel um, to, to populate. And then once I get to that, I will show that later. So this will be, you know, there'll be a part two to this at some point down the line. Next time I want to redo this star. I don't like the way it's wired and I'll explain all that next time. So how's that for a tease? Now that I've got pixels, uh, I, I will have several prop videos because I've got a lot of stuff to populate, stuff to show you. 
Um, so that in the next few videos will probably be just props, you know, showing different props that I have populated with pixels. If you have any questions, leave them below. Other than that, stay safe and thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Now I shot an email. Uh, so I got six of these and so they, I got five of these when I started relaxing a little bit and then BAM!